And this podcast is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania, which is turning 27 this month. And as a huge thank you for 27 years, Renewal by Anderson is offering their biggest new customer discount yet. 25% off every window and door with no payments for 24 months from now until June 30th. To get in on this deal, check out rbacentralpadeals.com or call 717-523-9509. A former Starbucks manager who claimed the company fired her for being white was just awarded over $25 million. Meanwhile, individuals in a conspiracy to sell human body parts online have been arrested. Those meerkats at the Philadelphia Zoo died from accidental poisoning. And a rose by any other name couldn't get into Hershey Gardens for free this month. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in a PA. Shannon Phillips was fired from her job as a Starbucks regional manager of locations in Jersey and Pennsylvania in 2018, following the arrests of two black men at a Starbucks in Philadelphia, reports the Associated Press. A store manager had called the cops on the men for trespassing as they were sitting inside without having ordered anything, although they later explained that this was because they were waiting on someone for a business meeting. A national uproar ensued after video of the incident surfaced online. However, Phillips wasn't there at the time. Furthermore, she was let go less than a month after objecting to another white manager being placed on leave, a move the company said was made because black employees get paid less than their white co-workers. Although, as Phillips pointed out, managers have no bearing on what employees get paid. On top of that, a testimony from a former co-worker described Phillips as someone who was well-liked and hard-working in her position. This was all brought up in a lawsuit first filed in 2019 in which Phillips accused Starbucks of terminating her based on her race as a means of taking steps to, quote, punish white employees in an effort to convince the community that it had properly responded, unquote, to the men's arrest. She won that suit this week and was awarded $25 million in punitive damages plus $600,000 in back pay. Jeremy Pauly of Enola was arrested and charged last year in a conspiracy to sell quote-unquote oddities online, reports Fox 43. Those oddities were human body parts, which were found later in the basement of Pauly's home, and now six others have been arrested in this conspiracy to sell them in other states including Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Minnesota, plus one other man from Pennsylvania. Each was indicted by a federal grand jury on charges of conspiracy and interstate transport of stolen goods. The remains had been stolen from Harvard Medical School as well as a mortuary in Arkansas where another member indicted earlier this year had worked. Polly's preliminary hearing, already postponed twice, will take place next month. Five meerkats at the Philadelphia Zoo all died this month, states the Associated Press. Officials are now saying those deaths were caused by accidental poisoning from a dye that was used to mark the animals as a way to tell them apart. The zoo's vice president of animal well-being, Rachel Metz, stated the dye has been used for three decades without incident. The investigation into the meerkat deaths remains ongoing. A rose by any other name wouldn't be able to get into Hershey Gardens for free this month, says PenLive. In honor of the 3,000 roses currently blooming at the location, including the new Catherine Hershey Rose variety, as named after Milton Hershey's wife, Hershey Gardens will admit anyone named Rose at no charge throughout the duration of June. June, as it so happens, is also National Rose Month. That wraps up today's episode. For more news, take a trip to penlive.com. Also, please don't forget to rate this podcast and to share it around with your family and your friends. Thanks in advance. And of course, thanks for listening. I'm Claudia DeMuro, and I'll be back for Friday's episode of Today in a PA. This podcast is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania, which is turning 27 this month. And as a huge thank you for 27 years, Renewal by Anderson is offering their biggest new customer discount yet. 25% off every window and door with no payments for 24 months from now until June 30th. To get in on this deal, check out rbacentralpadeals.com or call 717-523-9509.